it's not an equitable learning opportunity for everyone when, they, when we have uniformed armed police officers in schools. Green Party trustees at the Vancouver School Board say if police officers come back into schools, there need to be some changes. The board voted to end the school liaison officer program in 2021, with those in favour of axing it, saying the police presence negatively impacted black, indigenous and other students of colour. After the October election, ABC Party trustees voted to bring the program back. We want to make sure that most importantly that this program works for all students, not just some students in the district. Green Party trustee Lois Chan Pedley recognizes many families appreciate the program but can't ignore the concerns of others in the school district. One of the changes she's asking for is that officers don't wear uniforms or carry guns at school. The sight of uniforms and guns is a very triggering experience for a lot of students um, and seeing that in the place of learning uh, negatively impacts their educational experience. But a former VPD officer who works in gang prevention says weapons are necessary. If something happens at the school, something bad, it, policemen aren't going to go there unarmed. If they're on duty, they need a firearm. But I, I could understand if they want them working plain clothes. One ABC party trustee says they're looking into that option. Preeti Faradkot says an engagement report from March 2021 shows most people strongly support the program. The responses from the people to keep the program is much more higher than the uh, the program being eliminated itself. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say um, completely getting rid of something is is benefiting anyone at this moment. The Vancouver Police Department tells City News in a statement that it's working with the board to redevelop the program. Jody Pulikoshko protested against the SLOs and maintains it should never have been brought back. We had a real groundswell. It was a grassroots movement of community members, particularly black and indigenous community members, who were saying this isn't safe. In Vancouver, Kier Junos, City News.